So I didn't realize until relatively recently that a whole new card was released on PDCGL. So we're going to be taking a look at it today to see how good it is. And yes, it is Mel Metal EX. Quick side note, I thought this was new. It turns out it wasn't. It was released in Obsidian Flames. They just released a promo for it. But either way, it's actually really strong with the Metal Maker. And you'll see what I mean when you watch the games. I am an idiot. It actually goes pretty nicely with Matang because you have the full Metal Knuckle attack, which is 90 plus 30 for each Metal Energy attached to this Pokemon. It also has Metal Belize, you know, Metabolize, being able to get two basic energy cards from your deck and attach it straight to the Mel Metal if you are struggling. But more importantly with this card, it has two very important stats. 300 HP being the first, which is bigger than Dialga and can avoid someone it KOs from things like Tina. But more importantly, down here is the four retreat cost, meaning you can use the Heavy Baton. So of course, we're going to be using the Metal Maker ability to accelerate to it, build it up, try and do big damage, and have Baton allow us to recycle a lot of the energy that we lose once the KO has happened. And it's almost like they released this card knowing that it needs to be done, because there's another Mel Metal that literally came out in Temporal Forces that is also very good. It does 230 damage for five energy grants but in Matang, that isn't difficult. So this is a whole like Matang deck, which is kind of interesting, really. And I, for one, am excited to see how it plays. So how about we get in some games with it? And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. I tell you what, today I am happy because I actually achieved Arceus League. I am now finally in Arceus League, have proven to myself that it is legitimately possible for the Road to Arceus series to actually be completed. So I've got there myself now, actually got there with the video I uploaded yesterday, the moon list went straight from Shaman all the way to Arceus because that deck is just that good on the ladder right now. I'm absolutely enjoying it, having a blast with it. Um, and I got my Tarkis, which is pretty cool. Either way, nonetheless, let's see if we get anything great. Okay, I'll, I'll take Zamazenta. In fact, I think what I want to do here is actually get a Beldum down and then Prime Catch, which is, feels like a waste of a Prime Catch if you think about it, but it will allow me to pull off the TM Evolution without losing the Mel Metal. So I think that's perfectly fine. Also, Charizard is not a good matchup, let's be real, but we'll just take what we're given. Do I go to the EX? I think I do. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to the EX and not to the baby one because it's just going to survive for longer and that gives me more time to charge it up and get some 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 good energy on it you know also in the meantime can attack the down and center so i think we're all right but yeah that's that's why i'm flexing the uh the verizion sleeves you can only get these by getting arceus so i really think this is more of a flex than like blink cards because <laughs> blink cards are just craftable whereas this is like you have to actually achieve this which i think is quite cool anyway enough flexing and going on about how great i am let's go for a metal maker so i do want a boss actually and just take out that pidgey yes that's good Bidoof, i know that's annoying it desired plays both nowadays but uh uh, we're just gonna deal with it. Let's let's get go for retaliate there. Get rid of that Pidgey. Unfortunately, the Zamazenta cannot use the tool. So once it goes down, it goes down. We don't keep the energy. But I'd say that was quite a nice early KO there for us. I also need to claim my these sleeves as well. Actually, uh, they get Charizard out. Yay! Yeah, I need to claim these sleeves. Uh, you can get if you watch the UIC. By the way, check your inventory on Twitch. If you watched it on Twitch, but why, 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 why when I click these sleeves, does it do that? Wait, I click and then it does hold that whole animation. What's going on there? Click again. Right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It just it's animating every time I click on it. Like, what the hell is that? I don't know. But yeah, these sleeves you can get. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Nonetheless, blood is waffling. Let's bring up the metal boy. It's a hard Donny for the Zarta KO. Why do I have a forest steel stone in here? You're not meant to be here. What the hell? Oh god, I have to cut that out. That's 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 outrageous. All right, let's just get a baton, get an S ball. Hopefully, we can get an attack off here. I'm talking as if I'm going to be able to pull something off. But we'll get a, mel a Melton anyway. We do need to hit three. So I don't think we're going to be that lucky. We hit two. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. So maybe I just go for the Metabolize and just get two on this Melton. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that, unfortunately. Attach here and then just go for a Metabolize. I'm probably just going to call it Metabolize because, you know, that, that's what it is really trying to be, right? I can't believe this is done. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I play literally no V in this deck. So, yeah. You can tell I was experimenting with the Matang, though. Huh? I am always experimenting. I am. If way, they get rid of a Chi Yu and they just throw off that baton like it's nobody's business. And they just go for a Burning Darkness for 210. Don't think I'm going to be able to carry this Charizard, but I should be able to get at least a swing on it. And that's a lovely Ultra Ball. I'm getting Mew. I'm getting Mew. I know Mew's a terrible thing to put down against Zark, so just boss KO it. But I need to make sure I can capitalize on them not having Pidgeot out or no Barrel. So I need to, yeah, I need to just draw cards here. So I'm just going to get another baton. 
Tom. That's lovely. Do I go for a Buddy Buddy Poffin? Do I go for... I think I'm going to go for a Nest Ball. Try and get Ninja down as well. Really just up. Oh, no. Go, oh, maybe I should have Poffin for uh, a Beldum. Uh, no, nah, one Beldum's fine. It's okay. Let's throw this down here. And do I... Let's, well, let's first off go for Metal Maker. We, we fail. So we do just go for a normal swing here. And I think I bench this Meltan. No, I don't need to venture just yet, do I? Let's just go for a full Metal Knuckle for 210 there. And let's see what we can do. Now we need to start getting the baby boys out, right? We need to get starting those those baby Matangs in, hitting 230s, uh, offsetting the price trade enough, at least hopefully, to be able to take advantage here. But there's an Arvin, so they should be able to get another Charizard out. I'm assuming they have Charizard in hand. They don't brick like this without having something available. There's an Ultra Ball, so clearly not. I'm going to Ultra Ball now. I'm also guessing this is likely towards list. I can't really tell if I'm honest. I watched the finals, but I didn't actually pay attention to the to the list that Todd was playing. I haven't checked it myself, but I'm going to guess that it is, given it's popular right now. They did Rod for Pidgey, by the way, so there's that. Just hoping they don't get a Charizard or a Charmeleon, but they are likely to get Charmeleon here. There's Incisors. They get an energy on the Charmander. And just burn the darkness, okay. All right, that's good news. The baton activates. So we just move the energy here. So now we just need the the, 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 the cheeky the metal boy. Give me the metal metal and we'll be talking, okay? Just give me the boys. I kind of feel like a rod is not a great idea right now. That said, I actually might just rod back exclusively the Zamazenta. I know, kind of wild because you want to recover energy with Zod. Zod, yes. <laughs> but I want to just get good draw here. And oh, that's bad. Okay, that's very bad. All right, I guess we're going to go for a genome hacking. <laughs> Come on, Metal Maker. You can hit free energy here. I believe in you. One. Come on. Don't make me look stupid now. Don't make me look like a dumb dumb. Metal Maker for two, and it's okay. It's more than enough. All right, I guess we're just going to genome hacking out of <laughs> sheer bad luck. I'm going to get energy on here, actually. Just don't like the fact that this is probably going down next turn, and we probably don't have a follow-up either. Yeah, not a good prize trade at all. But, yeah, the hand you dealt was the hand you dealt, eh? Plus, even Dialga, the better version of this deck, it doesn't go well into Zard. So, you know, we're being, we're being real with it if we, if we are. Right. I, I, that sentence made no sense. We've got the Metal Metal EX. So, they come over at Zard with these... But does that much energy, I could actually get up to 340. Wait, can it go to 330? I don't know my free time stables. 270, 300, 3. it should go to 330? Or could. But no, let's get Radzard down. Might be able to pull something off with that. Uh, Defiance band there. There's an incisors. I think the lack of Pidgeot is helping him. Nope, I lied. That's an absolute falsehood. I'm a fraud and I always have been. They <laughs> just go straight for the, uh, the Charizard rare candy there. Typical stuff. And they even get Radiant Charizard ready for the turn. If I even do get a KO, we just lose. So unfortunately, this is going to be a loss, but I will lose fighting. I'm going to try and get a massive one hit on this Zard here. I don't actually think it's possible, but hey, if it is, let's go for it. Promote the Mel Melton here. Go for a Mel Metal. I'll even recover energy with rods. Let's rod here. See if we can get something going our way. Currently in 240, so we're definitely not far off. Does that we need four energy? So there's two, like so. I would just need the, I would just need the one. Oh my God. Did I actually get it? I legitimately got it. And, oh man. If they didn't get that KO there, we would have been absolutely smoking this deck right now. But unfortunately, just by nature of the price trade, but I'm just, we, we got 330. So that is really cool. I did not expect myself to be hitting that that comfortably, but there comes the Charizard. We'll be able to finish the job if you know, it wasn't anything like this and was able to come up with the Melton afterwards. That'd be nice. So the Mel Metal. It's going to be hard to pronounce so many things in this deck, by the way, because it's Metang and Meltan and Mel Metal and Metal Maker. A lot of Mets, okay? Makes me feel like I'm in the States. Is it the Mets? To, uh, I don't know. Combustion Blast to end my confusion. Down to one price, though. We took the Charizard down a little bit, you know, made him work for it. But alas, it's a loss. Okay, Road Song usually means we're playing another Charizard. I get we are up at like the highest rank. So, and weirdly enough, I'm quite constantly matching up against people in the Arceus League. So I, I think that act the matchmaking system is genuinely trying to match up against Arceus players, which is right. It should be like that. But it's interesting to see. I wanted to test it a little bit further to see how the matchmaking actually works in Arceus League because it's looking to be different where when you're in the Master Ball League, you can still match up with people even in the Ultra Ball League. In fact, I, I would, wouldn't be surprised if you like you match up against someone in Great Ball. Um, so it wouldn't, yeah, it is odd. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me at all. But in Arceus, it's been straight Arceus players, uh, people who've reached the Arceus League. So maybe there's a lot more people in the Arceus League because it's effectively infinite in a sense. Uh, but, but I am curious. I'd love to see the spread um, of things. But either way, Buddy Pop, this is looking like a pretty decent turn here, with all, with all honesty. And I'm going to Arvin here and get myself a Nest Ball. And uh, But do we already have TM in hand, right? Yeah, get myself... I don't even need a baton. 
but I'll get it anyway. And I think it's only right that I get another Meltan. I try and go for the baby metal to start, or do I go for the big boy? Um, we'll try that. We'll try the baby. We'll try the. Uh, no, we'll go for the. We'll go for the big boy. We're here for the big boy, so we play with the big boy. It, 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 that, that sentence sounds really wrong. I, I hope my neighbors don't hear me. Right, let's just go for a team evolution and evolve these two. Get get big big Mel metal out. Get Matang out. So we need eight energy on the Mel metal EX to one eight KO Azard. We know that now. So if we can get to that position and then Azard comes up, we just Oko it. Throw a baton down on it. In fact, I might throw an early to bait out the vacuum. And then they KO me. We go into a baby one, two, thirty. Just go for another KO. Not another KO, sorry, another swing. Would be pretty cool. But it's when the late game comes in, obviously, that things get difficult. Nonetheless, they're gonna rare candy straight into Zard here. I'm gonna be surprised if they get a boss somehow, because this deck usually finds answers no matter what. It's a shame that it's all Zards. I mean, it does make sense, I guess, at this level. So it, yeah, it, I'm not I'm not surprised that I'm coming up against Zards all the time. Like, if I was on the lower end of the ladder, I'd be like, stop giving me Zards. But now I'm like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> There's an Arvin. They could prime capture me. Um, does Arvin play prime? I don't remember what Tord played, but I, I know I'm referring to Tord a lot, but usually it's it, it's very predictable. When you're on the ladder or just after a tournament and you're playing a deck that done well in that tournament, odds are you're playing the deck that did the highest or, or did the best or the list, sorry, that did the best. And that would be Tord's because he won the bloody thing. So I wouldn't be surprised um, if this is Tord's list. Again, I don't know. It might not even play the Rotom for all I know. In fact, I don't know if it does. But either way, the idea here, at least, oh, I think it's going to go for a Pidgeot. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So no Prime Capture, that's cool. Because I'm correct, does Tord play the Prime or did he play the, oh, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try. Right, there's the Retreat. There's the Burning Darkness. And our Melmetal will probably won't be able to do anything here. But we have an Iono and that's fine. Plus the Baton, which we know is probably going to disappear. But I just need to charge up this Mare Metal. The problem last game was not being able on this kind of turn to just get an attack in. We couldn't utilize it properly. So let's see. Metal Maker. And we hit two. Okay, that's good news. So we need to get one plus attachment. Obviously doing this all before drawing because that increases our odds of hitting the energy. There's one. Okay, I need an energy to attach, which we should get from Iono. All right, we, we have like 15 energy in deck. We should hit an energy. Yeah, there's the energy. We hit it, baby. All right. We do get a Puffin as well. So another Meltan going down feels good. In fact, do I just double up? Do we just full send it? Let's go, man. Let's go for a Casile cards here to draw that little bit more. Could prime catch, but I haven't got the retreat. So we're just going to full metal knock for 210. And now I'm hoping for that vacuum to come out. So then, because you, you only usually play the one vacuum. So play the vacuum, get rid of my tool card. I'll Arvin, get it back again. KO you, you KO me. And then I can come up and hopefully take a one hit KO back. Again, it's the Radzard. That's the problem we got to find out how to deal with. We also have this Rotom to potentially KO too. So, and that can be KO by the baby. So we, oh, honestly, this is very weird. Assuming we don't get a late game Iono to Oblivion, that is. There's an Arvin. They should be getting Pidgeot out now. Did they bench Pidgeot last turn? Is that why they didn't didn't evolve into it? I weren't paying attention, but that's me. They do get an Ultra Ball, though. They are going to play it, so Pidgeot seems like it's on the cards, right? They get rid of Jirachi and the Choice Belt there. Go for a Pidgeot X. I forgot to get rid of the bloody thing! Oh, God. I forgot to get rid of the... the, the Ah, my head's not working. My brain frontal lobe. Please work for me for one. The forest seal stone. There we go. Got there. <laughs> Rare candy coming in. Pidgey up down. I'll try to remember to get rid of it here, but uh, don't don't blame me if I do. If I don't, if I, if I, if I, I don't know. Metan coming up. They're going to just take out my boy. Interesting. That means I should stay alive for a lot longer. Um, This thing ain't good. Could want to KO me at least until I get four prizes taken. So even if I KO this Zard now, they still cannot Oko the Metal because it's just so big. Unless they do play Max Belt, in which case they can. I don't know. Also, we have prize two Belden, by the way, I think. Yeah, that Puffin didn't show any Belden, did it? So I think it's prize two, so it's going to be difficult. Well, I could have and actually just get the... Uh yeah, just get the, get the get the rod, right? Yeah, that's not a terrible shout. Not at all. All right, but there's an energy on the Charmeleon. Yeah, this this Matang's actually... It, it, the Kano Matang's giving me more time to... I basically still have two Matang uses on this Mail Metal, right? Because I'm surviving an extra turn here, which is another turn to use Metal Maker. So I don't know what much of a difference that makes now. Obviously, it will later. But um, yeah, super... Oh, I get the rod anyway. So I'm just going to super rod and just recover a Matang line plus an energy. And I could just... Yeah, just Arvin and just get um go for a Nest Ball. Get a Baton back. I have a feeling, though, they're going to be quite intelligent about this. And they're going to Baton... They're going to remove my baton now and that could be slightly devastating um in all honesty but <laughs> we failed to hit anyway so it doesn't matter we'll go for the 214 and hope they don't remove the baton again if they do then we have to just work with that there's that useless forest seal stone it's just discard follow that's all it is for now so a free ultra ball discard follow that's why it's in there honestly i would just cut this and add another rod really to be fair to you either way there's a puffin getting a badoof down they go for a quick search it's a long quick search I tell you that i wonder if they go for my matang again that would be quite funny there's a charizard though 
Oh no, they wouldn't. You wouldn't want to vacuum this time, right? Because you're not even getting the KO. Yeah, you just hit, don't you? Okay. Bit of a shame we whiffed that early uh, uh, Metal Maker because I still, if I hit at least one or two energy there, then I, that was a like, decent odds of me actually just getting a KO on the Zard. But I mean, the odds are there. We have energy. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the Poffin and the Stone, get my other me Metang out, and we can legitimately Yoko this Zard right now and basically set ourselves up for game. This could be huge. Right, Metal Maker number one. Please give me something. Oh, okay. One. Not there yet. We need to hit at least one more energy. And we do have a decent amount of deck still. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Please. Oh, oh, oh my God. Look at that. It's just sick how much energy that is. Right. Eight is the magic number. Going to start attaching to this Matang here. Melton here. Sorry, I cannot English. And I'm tempted to Iono, but I don't think I do because I have the prime. I have the prime catch. What if I just get 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 an out, you know? I could prime cap that. Yeah, yeah. No prime catch in just straight one hit KO on that Charizard. And we have the chance to win here. Get redemption for that last game so long as we get the baby metal. That's kind of all we need, you know? Oh, wait, I've just realized as well. They've got no Charmander down. Oh my God. Right, so they have to heat tackle here? Okay, yeah, they have to heat tackle. Heat tackle will get it. So that could be their saving grace. Still no Zard. But I tell you, what, even with the heat tackle, so long as we get baby metal, we should be fine. Oh, they Iono us though. Oh, oh, oh. Iono to two. Uh, Heavy Bull ain't gonna do it for me. We do at least get concealed cards going our way. This is where things get interesting and we have to capitalize, man. Donnie's got only one Charmander down and can't even get the Zard out yet. Like, give me a chance, please. Well, they're gonna retreat, but I have a f I, I have an inkling that they actually don't have the fire energy. Oh, they retreat to Manaphy. They don't have the fire? No shots. Oh, oh. All right, so they're gonna just try and give me a big Zard then, aren't they? Okay. All right, so what about just start loading up and try and get... Do I... I, I can get another Mel Metal out eventually, right? Or something at least. Yeah, I can get another Mel Metal EX out. Sure. Just need to find the Donny. You know what I'm saying? Um, There's baby Mel, Mel Metal. But let's let's keep going. I like the fact that the, the, the Metal Maker is helping me thin as well. Oh, oh, oh. So I don't think I evolve. Oh, God. Do I evolve or do I... Oh, this is a hard decision, you know. No, I think I get the EX, right? No, no, I get the baby one. Oh, do I get the EX? I think I get the EX. I think I do. Because with the baton, with the baton, I actually will have exactly eight artists to take an Oko. They could get rid of the baton, but at that point, it's like, well, if I get Ionid into nothing, then I still am pretty much going to lose, right? Granted, I am kind of saying, hey, you know, I'll, um, I'll risk the price trade thing. Then again, Nespol's nice. Nespol, if I get uh, another Arvin and get some Rod, I could also go for a Zamazenta, but that's not enough. Or to be fair, I actually could go for... No, Mew EX won't be enough to take a KO. Yeah, getting Iono there sucks. But if we don't lose this Baton, which it can happen. I mean, we haven't seen the Vacuum yet. They seem to have it. Yeah, they have the Charizard naturally, so they should find the Vacuum now. But if they have somehow prized that thing, then we just win. It really depends if they've prized the Vacuum or not. I, I do doubt it, though. The odds of them having it prized is far less lower than them actually having it. There's that quick search coming in. I have two energy here. Eight, that's ten. That's all my energy in deck. I need to rod, otherwise I, there's no chance. Did they just, wait, did they just quick search for the barrel? There's the vacuum. Okay, we need a rod. Um, otherwise we're in trouble because they can now just Oko even this. So maybe I should have got the baby. Yeah, oh, maybe I should have just evolved to the baby of tank. So it gives me one more turn at least to get an attack off. But I would have still been in the same predicament. Oh, this is difficult. God, the Zard's just too good, man. It, this is proof. Proof's in the pudding. But I don't think it needs any proof. Charizard's been proven to be so good for so long anyway. There's a boss! What? No, wait, did we just stop there? <laughs> I'm hitting enough. Yeah, I'm hitting it. <laughs> Bro, I did not even anticipate the boss. Oh, don't forget that. Zod is good. Get out of here, mate. I'm all metally and wet. Because <laughs> you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a liquid metal. I wanted to like add a preface there because that sounded a bit mad. And would you look at that? It's another Charizard. Imagine that, guys. At the highest level, you'd see Charizard everywhere because it's the best deck. I, I, I think I made a mistake trying to get to Arceus. I did commit a lot of time to it to try and do it, and I did it, which isn't a, an achievement. I know that. It's nothing special. But um, I think I've made a mistake because I think all I'm going to get in my videos is Charizards <laughs> because people don't want to have fun. They want to win. Winning is fun. But uh, for me, I like winning too, actually, so I can't even lie. Either way, let's just, let's just full send this, man. Look, just get all the boys in, man. Start cooking next turn. You know what I'm saying, man? Get energy on this male metal. Start evolving and start accelerating. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I, 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 I fear that I, I may only be coming up against like Charizard and Stool. <laughs> you know, Charizard controls Stool. The odds top tier deck here and there. You know, maybe an Arceus, maybe a Lugia. But I feel like it's going to be primarily Zards at this level. So I might have to 
if it persists. Do you know what's sad? Because I've reached Arcus, I can't actually derank. I might have to try and force my elo to be lower to have more variety because I don't want to be playing Zards every single game. And I'm sure you don't want to be watching that every single game. So that'd be an interesting thing to, to, to figure out. Either way, that's something for the future. We'll see how it goes. I, on the other hand, am far more interested in going for a TM evolution here to get two of my Matangs out. Let's get them out, baby. There you go. Lovely, lovely setup, by the way. Going second's kind of annoying. First, though, is kind of annoying because you want to TM instantly, but I, I will take this setup over many that I've seen before, so that's fine. And we do have a boss KO straight on the Rotom, so that's great. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Charizard now. There's Charmeleon. Low-key, I kind of don't want to get the boss on the Rotom. Um, no, I think I still do because I, 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 eventually I'll be getting Melmetal out later on in this game by just the way my hand has been. So I'm a little concerned that I, I kind of want my Mel Metal's EXs to be out swinging in first to like tank the hits and get extra swings in and not come out the moment they can be one at KO, you know? Luminium, there's two of you. Obviously, they could they could collapse stadium here, but if I could take advantage of these two being in play, bro, that's mental. Either way, there's an Arvin, so as always, odds of them getting at least an evolution here is guaranteed because, of course, these V's on the bench. And I think it is going to be the full set coming out, both Pidgeot and Charizard. No Bidoof, though, so maybe if... Oh, maybe I should have tried getting the EX out because I could get a boss KO on Pidgeot. I think boss KO on Pidgeot is the strat, especially when you have a board like this with no big barrel because you just shut them down, right? This is where the max belt would have actually been useful because I could just max belt this and go straight for 280. But I opted for the prime just to be able to have a lot more gust option for those easy EX KOs like Roaring Moons and all that. But in this case, the max belt actually is slightly more relevant, maybe? I don't know, man. With a board like this, I think I prefer the prime capture because you could just like gust these things up like crazy. Crazy, and then just avoid the Zard the whole game. As long as you get enough to hit 280, you can just go the whole game without even hitting a Zard and win. So maybe that's kind of the strat I go for, try and go heavy gust. That's it, I'm talking like I'm going to hit my Metal Makers. I should hit my Metal Makers, surely. Well, let's bring up Mermetal now, because I'm that confident. And uh, don't call it false confidence, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any Pokemon left to Buddy Poffin, so I'm actually going to hold it for the sake of discard fodder. Mel Metal, Oy. Okay, I might have to take it back, lads. Oh my God, I failed both. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. I can't even retreat it. All right, evolution, here we go. <laughs> Team evolution, boys. <laughs> hey, big Mel Metal, save me, man. Wait, wait, is it there? It's there, please be in the deck. Yeah, I need the big one, please, the big one. <laughs> Okay, that means I have to get some good hits here, right? There's no way I with two Metangs in a row. That's so tragic. It's just annoying that they get an extra prize card here, unless they boss up the Mel Metal, which is questionable. But then again, you might want to hit it because I do still pose that 1-8 KO threat, right? With three Metangs, right? I might be able to legitimately get to eight. What is that theoretically? It would, it, would it have to be... Well, I think it has to be three of them. Yeah, three, three off of two of them and then two off of one of them. So technically like two energy, two and a third energy per Metang in order to actually get to eight. But obviously, if you just work out by the laws of averages and stuff like that, I don't know how the, the, the odds actually work. But if we were to say that you hit two on average, which I don't know if that's true because it depends on your deck, then we could do that. But no, they're, they're going to start gussing up the tang. This was a mistake that the uh, person I played last game made. But it's actually not that bad a mistake because the prize trade now resets in a more beneficial way for them. So out of fear that I'm not going to hit it again, I want to just have the best sort of attacking. And we are going to just start Metal Maker in again. We should hit. Come on. There's one. Oh, man, that's the RNG, bro. That's the RNG. You better sort me out here now. Come on. There we go. All right. So that's enough to come in and take a KO. Unfortunately, no baton, though, to sort us out. But I, I need to get aggressive here, like super aggressive. So let's just take out the Rotom, get rid of that bad boy. And I want to also find Zamazenta. Uh, that would be nice. There's Baton. There's a Meta Meltan. So that's some good stuff going forward. Ultra will get us Zamazenta as well, which will be a nice Gust KO on Luminion. But I need to be ready for something here. There's a quick search. I wonder if they'll Gust up my uh, my other Metang and just keep trying to take out Metangs. I mean, it's actually not a bad strategy, is it? But that's why the Baton actually does come a little bit in handy if you do get to to get away with it. Obviously against Zard, nine times out of 10, you're not because they're going to be smart enough to play around and uh, around the baton, right? They're going to be able to just vacuum at the right time and all that. But in some cases, you never know. Yeah, it seems like they're going for that strat of just taking out the tangs, which really isn't a bad move if you really think about it. But I do get some free swings here at least. That's like the only bit of copium I have right now. And there's another Poffin gone. But this is why I wanted to be able to just get rid of these. Like so, get myself. Might have to get Mew, which really scares me. But I need to draw, man. 
the deck can't just not draw. That's how we lose. So let's go for a restart here. And okay. All right. I'll take the rod. I'll recover one Mev Matang line and an energy. Go for an S ball into the Beldum. And what am I going to Arvin for here, really? Oh, I could Prime Catch, though. Oh, wait. I could Prime Catch. Okay. I forgot to take the stone out. No. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Right. I'm going to Prime Catch then, right? So we go for a charge on them. Oh, but the thing is, they're going to take out my big. They're going to take out my big metal after this KO for sure. 100% they'll take out my big metal here. But I can't not take a KO. I have to for the prize. Yeah, let's just bloody do it. All right, fine, fine, fine. I think this is actually worse for us. But I also think we're in a worse off spot regardless. Now, obviously, if they just KO my male metal, then I do have the chance to Oko Wizard because of the, the baton. But they will vacuum right now. There's no way they don't. And like, they have to address this male metal, right? It's, it's too aggressive right now. But then again, they could just boss up Mew, say, right, you can't actually KO anything with that male metal now for two prizes and then take the single prize. So... I think a boss play here is, is, is very good too. Just on the Mew, I think, personally. Oh, oh Radzard. Yeah, Radzard's also an option. Oh, they just counter catcher though. Yeah, they're going to get the Mew up, right? I had to get the Mew though to draw. So yeah, it is what it is. Oh, they go for another. Are you okay? Uh, They rock at me. Um, Not that bothered to be fair to you. I don't know why they keep going after them. I, I still think they win, but they're just giving me chances. That's the weird thing is they're giving me like at least options when they should just be going for the Mew and saying, look, even if you do KO me off, no, no. Uh, I guess they're just worried about me getting a KO, but there's just no shot. They do now vacuum, but that's kind of a good thing because I could actually still... No, they're just going to boss, right? Unless they're out of bosses. They are two bosses down and a counter catch. I mean, it's either they play Prime or Max Belt. That's one. Usually you see three in a, in a Zard. So uh, yeah, that's it. They did. Yeah, they. I don't know. I'm a bit I'm a bit kerfuffled there. Going to go for a heavy ball, fail it, attach here. And I kind of want to rod. Um, I think I'm actually going to go like this. I'm going to rod back just a Mel Metal and a Radiant Greninja. Because those are cards I actually kind of want to hit off the top deck at some point. But I just don't want to run into straight energy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But if I do want straight energy, then I can get Greninja. There you go. That's that's That gives us a little bit of push. That would be nice to get. Arvin and the useless stone coming back again for moral support. Can Arvin do me any solid here? It can get me a counter catcher and a baton. Oh, that means if they actually don't have Gus by sheer luck, right? Then we could still... Well, actually, no, the counter catcher doesn't matter, but the baton does. Oh, that means I should have got an ultra ball instead of catcher, right? Yeah, that's me being a dum-dum. A uh, big old dum-dum. Yeah, I think I misplayed there. Should have tried to get some Matangs out, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't lie, bro. My brain, I'm, bit, I'm a bit kerfuffled. And I ain't gonna ultra ball, bro. Come on. It's, I, I'm being served the win. Please, just, just let me have it. Go on. Let, let me go two and one against Charizard in a deck that is literally so bad against it. Please, don't get a boss. Come on. Have some fun in your life. Lose some time. But they did quick search. Let's see what they got. They did have a little, little look through their deck, which is also quite telling as to what they might have and not have. You don't wait that long if you already have the boss play. Like, you just grab the boss, finish the game, right? You don't think about things. So I'm a little curious as to what actually is going on in my opponent's deck. Going to retreat. They're going to collapse, right? Well, I'll just get rid of a Meltan. That doesn't affect me. Me. And they airy. By the way, I've realized I have automatic win here if they can't boss me. Uh, well, they've airied, so they can't. And they can't. They can counter catch, but they've already played their copy of counter catch, which so usually they only play one. They scooped! Oh, oh, oh. Bro, I'm not even lying. This is pretty much three games in a row. I did not. Pick these games, I swear. Plus 10 in Arceus League? Jesus Christ. So I went through this whole video thinking Mel Metal EX was new when it was released in Obsidian Flames. <laughs> oh God, I can already picture the comments. Uh, either way, look, at the end of the day, Mel Metal actually did still surprise me with how decent it actually is. Honestly, really, really, really cool stuff. And I really enjoyed playing it. Um, I, I kind of enjoy this archetype in general. So whenever I play Matang, it's a good time because you, know, you got a bit of that gamba gamba ain't ya um, but either way that was an absolute blast i hope you did enjoy and uh, uh, and also was able to put up with me believing this was new when it's been out forever <laughs> either way we're gonna leave it there take care and peace and a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel if you want to become a member yourself click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like but we'll leave it there thank you very much for the support guys see you later